This is step 3 in a sequence of screencasts looking at the drawing techniques within Microsoft PowerPoint. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a diagram that looks like this. And in the last screencast we got as far as drawing our shapes and getting them aligned very very loosely. What I'm going to show you is some techniques uh, to get them aligned A very quickly and B very neatly. So what I'm going to do, if I select one of my shapes it will bring up the Format tab. So if I click on the Format tab at the top of the screen. Over here we have an option called Align and this is something that is often not known about. In earlier versions of uh, Microsoft Office uh, you used to come down to the bottom left corner and you had the option of Draw and then if you came up from there there was a menu and it said Align or Distribute. Okay, In Office 2007 it appears up here at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm first of all I want to get these four shapes so that they're evenly distributed. So I need to select all four and there's two ways of doing that. I can either draw my box around it like this and that will select them or I could hold my finger on the shift key and then click on each one in turn. So I've got four items selected and if I go to a line I'm going to do two things. If I choose distribute vertically it will align them so there's an even gap between them. If I then align left it will align all of them with the leftmost item. So it's going to move the bottom three left to align with idea. So it's like that. So in two very simple clicks I've very easily and quickly got those aligned correctly. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to align my evaluate box with deliver. So deliver's in the right place and evaluate at the moment is slightly high. So if I choose align bottom it will move it down very slightly. I'm then going to align my reflect with my prepare. And again prepare is in the right place, reflect is slightly high so I need to go for align bottom. And then what I need to do is align reflect and evaluate with each other. So I'm going to just drag the mouse around and format and then I'm going to align left. And that's now got all of my items uh, nicely aligned. It takes a bit of practice but when you do a lot of this it becomes very quick and very easy. Now another thing to note is once I've got them aligned if I use my cursor keys I can actually nudge items. So I wanted to move these two left but because I didn't want to mess up the vertical alignment, by using the nudge keys, my left cursor, I was able to move it without moving it vertically. If I'd used my mouse, there would have been an element of upward or downward motion in there as well. Another thing to note with the Align and Distribute tool is you've got this option of Align to Slide. So I'll just show you how that would work with a different shape. Let's say I quickly draw uh, a shape here and I'm going to choose a rectangle but I, let's say I wanted a square a quick way of getting a square is to hold my finger on the shift key while I'm drawing it and that will give me a regular shape if I go to format now because I've only got one item selected it's automatically chosen the align to slide now if I distribute vertically and then again distribute horizontally it's distributing it relative to the slide. So that square is actually dead in the middle of my slide. So I'll quickly delete that. Uh, and in the next screencast, I'll show you how to create the connectors, the arrows that go between the shapes.